Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, and this is Scorpio energy. So this is a card of endings and transformations. Something is, is coming to an end. There's a feeling of being in a transition phase here. A major change is taking place here, but something is being left behind. There's this feeling of letting go. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the star, Aquarius energy. And we have the king of pentacles, earth energy. And we have the Three of Wands, Fire Energy. So you could be releasing something so that you can call in something new here. Because the Star card, it looks like you are manifesting um, a wish fulfillment in love here. You're manifesting something, but it hasn't yet come into fruition. Because even with the Three of Wands, this is manifestation energy. So you could be, you know, just at that beginning stage of something new in your love life. And with the King of Pentacles, it does look like you're willing to be patient for this. There's this feeling of you are ready to attract um, something, someone who's on the same level as a king of pentacles because that's your energy here. You're in that energy. And so it's like you're you're attracting something that matches that. And, you know, king of pentacles, high quality kind of partner doesn't come by every day. So there is this message of being patient, but also wait, knowing that what you want wants you, what you want is coming. Because at the three of wands, that is being patient but also having the, the, that feeling that expectation that it's coming your ships are coming in here so it does look like you will have this kind of um this kind of love with someone who is i'm seeing a stable partner someone who's like a king of pentacles they're stable uh reliable this is really the ideal kind of relationship partner so it does look like there's a major transformation ma transformation happening in your love life here it's like a wish fulfillment is coming in and you can you can kind of sense it okay so let's clarify these cards for a go Okay, so we have the three of swords in the reverse and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so you could have experienced some sort of major heartbreak in love um this card does show some sort of betrayal or disappointment and we also have the death card there so you could be in the process of releasing the pain from this um or even just the person who you associate with the pain there's this feeling of finally letting that go finally healing from something here and being able to call in something else something better here for you but it, there is this feeling of moving away from this painful energy okay so let's see okay we have the queen of swords air energy the king of wands fire energy and the seven of swords in the reverse air energy yeah it looks like there's definitely someone who in your past or you know it's like there's someone you may have dealt with who betrayed you with the seven of swords that can be sneaky deceptive manipulative energy but it's in the reverse which means that you're you may be past this like it's already happened it's in your past um and you already exposed this you may have found out through the person or you could have found out on your own but with the queen of swords it looks like you are detaching from that person that situation that 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 um energy because the queen of swords is a no-nonsense kind of energy it's someone who cuts out cuts out what no longer serves their serves her and there's this feeling of having learned a lot from that because the queen of swords she can come across as harsh but it's someone who has learned from experience to be more discerning so it does look like you are um it's like you're a different version of yourself, but you're more able to protect yourself because you know better now. There's that kind of energy here. And it does look like you may have confronted someone or you may have cut someone out here. Um, but it looks like you're, you're losing your attachments to a situation that caused you nothing but pain. 
okay so it does look like you are gaining your confidence back with this king of wands energy and you have this vision for what you want for your future here and you're manifesting an ideal partner for you someone who shares the same values someone who respects you someone who is capable of commitment and um, being emotionally available and um, i'm seeing a trustworthy kind of person here so with the three of wands it's like you know your ships are very much coming in here so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um virgo Okay, we have step out of your comfort zone north node so it looks like you are leaving pain behind you you're leaving something in your past the, the north node energy does show that you're moving towards um it's like this next connection is part of your destiny in some way there's a very future oriented energy on your side here and it does it again the death card it's like almost like shedding an old part of yourself there's a lot of transformative energy what happened to you is kind of changing you but for the better you know there's this coming out so wiser you know coming out more discerning um, but at the same time, still honoring yourself, having that self-love energy, not being completely closed off, but being able to protect your heart. Um, there's that feeling here of you're transforming. And so the partner that you're, kinds of partners that you're attracting are, are going to be different than what you're leaving behind here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. we have you deserve love you are lovable yeah you're attracting real love this time there's this feeling of um really having been changed by pain or a heartbreak but um also your heart being more open here in some way there's this feeling of knowing your worth not settling for less yeah okay so i'm gonna put another card for you Okay, we have cheerfulness it is spring again the earth is like a child that knows poems by heart so yeah there's a message here about being ready to love again or you know it's like really being losing those painful feelings coming out of that hurt place now and being ready for something new to begin here for you okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice virgo Okay, so we have surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Okay, so that's the advice for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.